Welcome to this week's episode of 6K DFS Darlings. I am your host, Matt Gannon, and I am here to tell you four 6K players you should play to finish your lineups for this week's uh, Travelers Championship from Cromwell, Connecticut, of course. I'm going to go from 6'9 down to 6'3 and give you four of my favorite plays in these ranges. Uh, this week for the 6K range, I kept it simpler than normal. Usually I deep dive a few three to four specific stats on, and it'll narrow me down to X amount of golfers per week. But this is a very unique golf course. I went very heavy on strokes gain total. Basically, how good are these golfers playing over the last 20 rounds? That's a big uh, discrepancy. Strokes gain total over the last 20 rounds. How are you playing of late? Pretty straightforward there. And then combine that with course history. You can check those two boxes or you can go one or the other. I think you have... Uh, the game to play here because there's so many different avenues to success at TPC River Highlands. You can DJ Bubba your way to success, or you get uh, Kevin Streelman your way to success and just plot around Ches Revi it. So there's different paths. I'm going to tell you four plays. We're going to start at 6.9K, Mark Hubbard. Over the last 20 rounds, he's gaining exactly 1.0 strokes gain total, and he's made his last three cuts here. In the 6K range, that is actually... That's really good across the board. One stroke around, that's pretty solid. Uh, he's made his last three cuts here, and of late, T6, T30, and T and T9 in some legitimate events. He's gained last week or two weeks ago at the RBC Canadian, 8.8 strokes on approach, and two weeks before that at the Charles Schwab, 7.34 strokes on approach. This guy's irons number, iron, iron numbers are through the roofs, and that's not a key stat for this week, but that's more covered past to success this week. Sorry, I'm talking too fast, stuttering right now, but... The damn travelers has got me excited. So Mark Hubbard's irons are his key to success. 125 to 175 key bucket range. He's been crushing from there. So 6.9K, pencil in Mark Hubbard. He could easily be in that 7.3 range and no one would bat an eye. All right. Second play, uh, Vincent Norman at 6.7K, a young Swede rookie. He actually leads the 6K range in strokes gain total over the last 20 rounds gaining 1.0 strokes gained in that in that span. He's never played here before, but we've seen him pop of late. He was a T8 at the Byron a few weeks ago, T48 the week after that at the Charles Robb, missed the cut at the Canadian Open and the U.S. Open, but now he heads back to a golf course that really suits his game much more than a major and the Memorial did. So I think Vincent Norman at 6.7K can have some success here. All right, 6.5K, Stewart's, Stewart Sink. An absolute course horse who is on his way out of the PJ Tour. He's already uh, played in the Champions Champions Tour and maybe a season or two more. He's and he's going to play in these events that he feels like he can contend in. And TPC River Highlands is definitely a course where Stuart Sink can can contend. Um, he even the last few years he was sneaky long and above the high the highs in driving distance, but he's kind of come down his age is catching up to him at the end of the day he's still long he's still straight and he's made three out of his last four cuts here Stuart sinks knows Stuart sink knows he can only compete at x tracks and i think this is one of those tracks that he can really compete on so Stuart sink 6.5k he should make it through the cut and then finally grayson sig at 6.3k once you get to this 6.4 and below, the range gets very, very, very bleak. But I like Grayson Sig. He is gaining a measly 0.6 strokes over the last 20 rounds, but that's better than nothing. T38 at the RBC Canadian Open where he gained 2.3 strokes on approach. He gained in every category but off the tee. Um, off the tee is not really crazy important this week. I know it kind of lends itself towards the plotters if you want to pick one rain off the tee. But if Grayson Sig can lean into that uh, approach and putting putting prowess he has, I think he can contend on this golf course. And he's a golfer who has some upside, hasn't proven much, but I'll take the throw at 6.3K. So those are the four guys I like in this range. That's Grayson Sig at 6.3, Stuart Sink at 6.5, Vincent Norman at 6.7, and Mark Hubbard at 6.9. Best of luck this week. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. One more show tomorrow night. Uh, narratives, interview reactions, and I'll catch you.